and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SMSU Team A. Uh, looks like the, the season's coming to a close in the next couple of weeks with uh, two more games, I believe, left with a possible uh, second seed in this game. If SMSU wins, they will be second seed in the postseason tournament. So it's going to be a big one for them here. I'm Afro here with my partner in crime, Frozen Explosion. How are you doing today? You know, I'm pretty good. Woke up this morning, had a conference with one of my professors. Hey, yeah, I had, feel that. You know, good morning, good conversations. Nice day. Talked to him about esports, you know, got them going a little bit about yeah. it. Got them excited. So, you know, it's maybe a good day it. for esports. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they're watching right now. But uh, looks like they're going to be starting on Ascent to start off this game one. And it's going to be looking like a pretty even game from what I've heard. Uh, Adrian College is who we are facing today, and they are currently also, uh, they just came off of a loss from Mankato, who has also given uh, SMSU a run for their money as well. So this is definitely going to be, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be a pretty uh, closely contested game, and uh, we're going to be starting off pistols here, and it looks like... Yep, SMSU is just going to go for it. I mean, you might as well start of the round, just W key that bad boy. And, uh, we're probably going to do something about going for here. Watching this spot. Watching this spot. And it looks like, yeah, yeah, no, they're definitely just going to W key here. I mean, that's a, it's a viable strat. You know, he got, he got the turn up for covering the flanks, which is really good, really smart for Killjoy. It's such a strong character on a map like Ascent. Especially with all the tight quarters. And I mean, you can control mid with that turret. It's really good. Dog comes out here from the sky. They do know that. They got the information of that. So they're going to probably be a little more passive pushing up here. Vulcan going on to sight. Making some moves. Wookie does get first blood on that sky. Taking him out. Uh. Wookie again now with a two piece on Chrome. Oh, looking a little bad right now with Beast Mod hitting that headshot. One enemy oh remaining. my goodness, a two piece from the Beast Mod now. Leaving Sage all by herself. And oh, we're not going to talk about that. That was a <laughs> interesting uh, exchange there by Jackson. Pretty good round though, I would say. What did you think of that one, Frodo? You know, I thought SMSU, really nice strategy. Have sit back, let the, the sky dog come out, take that dog out right away so they don't get very much info from it but on SMSU. Yeah. They only saw the one character. So, I mean, good strategy on SMSU. Very solid. Good, good they, they, aim placement, they, they all was, that. They was doing the do. They are putting in that mm -hmm. work. And that's exactly what we saw there. They, they, they essentially had this one locked down. They're actually not going to try and go for that W key push. Trying to keep ball. Down. They do get the pick here, and that's going to signal the rest of SMSU to make that rotation on to B. And it's going to be going up to the river, all up by that Sage. And yeah, now Jackson takes him out. Astro's down here for Adrian College. Piece of bread cleaning up Sky. And they're just going to go in for that full push. Last and player yeah, no, standing. There was no way Blunder Bump was going to take that one. As he gets absolutely decimated, but Chrome with the dome piece there on Jackson. He's gonna go for the push. The Spectre as well. Definitely gonna be in a tight situation with 22 health. As it seems like the clock is winding down, they have Spike. They do, they do set up those angles. They are just gonna watch it. Gonna take a break. Not gonna push him. There's no point. You have the sight. You can just wait, and that's exactly what they're doing here. And it looks like, yeah, he's definitely just going to try and uh, take this one and get out of there as soon as possible here. Yeah, you can even see, look at the setup here. Crossfires go lore by SMSU as they're beginning to hunt Chrome here. And as the bomb goes off, that's going to be another round in the bag for SMSU as they take this one. Frozen. Do you see a, a pattern coming here from uh, Adrian College? Maybe something they can probably change up in their strategies. I mean, honestly, if I were Adrian, they have a really nice, strong setup at the start. Killjoy usually running that B site 
throwing down her utility. So, I mean, maybe switch up the utility. Maybe throw one right next to, right at the corner of B as they're coming in. Maybe put that swarm grenade right there. Back them up a little. Yeah. Put that turret up on boxes of behind B. But, I Pulling mean, them in. they're having a strong setup right away every Obscuring time. Vision. It's just like SMSU gets that edge on a little bit every time. Yeah, and I, I completely agree. I mean, that's just what we've seen from this. You can see Killjoy currently on A side right now, but the action's kind of happening over at B. But it does look like they're starting to kind of slink a little bit in the mid, maybe trying to fake a situation. As the sky, Beast Mod going in there, checking out Sight. Now we see that all of Sight is mostly clear, but it couldn't see Heaven, so Heaven's still up for debate as if it's actually clear. So they might just be going for a mid to B as they begin to kind of back off, and it looks like they're just going to start having the yeah, bullets are flying now. Shock dart. Look at that shock dart. Look at that cover. They know he's right there. Now in the market, he gets taken down by the piece of bread, and the push begins. Almost uh, taking all of B here, Shades. All by himself, and had no way to win that one. It was a 3v1 after he shot him. 30 seconds oh, left. Joy had one no enemy idea. remaining. Flawless. There, and he gets a two piece with the Sheriff. With the Flawless as well. I didn't even wow. notice that. Great plays there by SMSU. They did what they had to do, and it was just a great play watching mm. them kind of slink and hesitate between there in mid and B. So. I should play you know, some if I Astro have one Stars critique in this about um Adrian, it'd probably be maybe rotate a little faster once you know that that's the site they're going to. Maybe see if you can throw them off, get some trade-offs, make yeah. it so you can get hopefully get a couple Checking members onto site. So they might have to rotate or just make it so they have to take out Good more block at least. But yeah, it's all advantage. SMSU. He does get that pick though on Wookie with the headshot. Now they're in, now they're gonna have a better uh, situation. Pardon me on that one. And you can even see a little bit of uh, a little bit of a stop on SMSU. They don't really know what to do now. He does one get that less. Dink, though on the other sky. And he's gonna try and uh, make some moves. No idea. <laughs> Completely discombobulated. Astra again. Now with two kills. Taking out the beast mod, holding down B site really well. <sighs> and as the smokes go down, helping out his teammates in need. SMS is gonna go for the A push with no one on site. Oh, and the killjoy, I believe, might have not been in range to activate any of her alarms. So they didn't even know they were there. Spike planted. that the Astra's putting out her utility now. Swarm grenade placement there. Underneath in hell, able to kind of get it out through heaven. Wild. I know you can see that a lot, but the of bread will pick it up here. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. will take this one with one person remaining. Piece of bread. Takes this one almost a dire situation for SMSU on that one. Very nice by SMSU. That silent rotate made them think they're still at B, but yeah. getting all the way to A with the plant before they really realized that they had switched over. Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely up to that Killjoy. If that Killjoy was just a few seconds faster. To get on site, those alarm bots and the swarm grenades would have been really helpful, but he was just too far away to make anything happen, and that gave SMSU an opportunity to play. I hear that they are going to start setting up a piece of bread, waiting to get that lockdown. They're probably going to wait till the wall could possibly be clear before making that full push. You, you should run! Orbs, and they're going for it. In it does catch the Astra. Back to the alley and then with the two piece with that beautiful vandal play. Taking out two members of Adrian College with the others going for that rotate. You saw Jackson seeing one of them. Oh, he's got one it. Oh, my goodness, wow. another flawless. Beautiful play there by Jackson holding that mid. 
They were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. He had his eyes on him the whole time. You know, I was surprised to see that Adrian didn't look like ch check their backside, make sure that SMSU isn't trying to sneak Should around I play behind some stars them. In this yeah, reality? that was a very interesting play. I'm surprised mm -hmm. they would do that. But yeah, looking at Econ, it's all SMSU right mm -hmm. now. I mean, they're going 5-0. They definitely have enough to pay for an op, which, I mean, attack ops is a very <laughs> interesting play to do. But, hey, if you can do it, go for it. Hey, all respect. You know, I ain't judging. Looks like they're going to go for that default with Sky going through mid now. Just trying to see who can get picks first. And, of course, after that, they're, they're just going to go push on whatever site has the least amount of people. I mean, maybe get a trade off, some a cheeky pick one, so they rotate. I mean, anything, anything helps. And at the end of the day, uh, it really. Oh, and you can Seeker. see pulling out the seekers. You want to be making this one. On the with, uh, you want to fight it. E, awaiting rotations. There's the world divided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no clue. Absolutely taking over a side as they go for that plant. And they get the spike down. It's now a 4v3 situation. You can see Jackson now making the move to flank on the stage. He was completely unaware. And yeah, he just gets shot up in the back here. One oh, enemy no, remaining. he looked the wrong way. Oh, that was unfortunate. He looked right at Tree. I don't know why he would do that, but I guess he thought someone was there. Got caught off guard, and it's going to be a uh, <laughs> 1v3 situation here. He does see the kill, Joy does kill. spot him. Oh. Sky, but he's not able to get the kill. Beastmon will pick it up for SMSU, making this 0-6 in the game one of this series. A strong showing here by SMSU. You can see SMSU all rifles, full shield, where Adrian College is going to have a little, maybe a little bit of a stake, or probably rifles and light shields yeah they're definitely gonna be looking pretty hard here you can mm -hmm. even see the marshals out for chrome uh going for the plays to just probably play a little more passively and just let them push I'll play go. Maybe, maybe not play retake but just hold the line as best as you can they do have rifles though so this could be very disastrous if they're not playing smart here jackson right next Need to blasting up Looks like he's oh, oh yeah, he's just right next to him. Didn't this is, this is actually a really good play here by Jackson. He's making all this noise with his utility to try and draw them here. And now Killjoy has used all of her swarm grenades and is now in a situation where he can just sit back and wait, mm -hmm. try and bait them to move over to the other side. They do spot the, the shot in mid. Oh, you know that they're maybe making that mid push. As they go into A. Awoken with a kill there. Going for a possible second. Oh. Back was turned, and it's going to be a dome for Nuke. Yes, Got the spike down A. Off by the One player. enemy remaining. One person remaining. Sage, uh, probably not the best idea. To, I mean, you only have a pistol. Perhaps it'd be best to spike just planted. this one. Maybe take a save round keep that pistol for next round yeah the lone wolf works alone might as well mm -hmm. just stay off you know what's mm -hmm. going to happen if you push that site but with just a ghost in a dream you know maybe you can get a pick and and try and lessen the advantage that they have going on but that econ from smsu has just been really well done and you can see this that they have most of site just locked down completely here the door is down you have one watching heaven here flash they'll go out in window i believe it actually might have hit Oh my goodness, they just had that locked down great play there by SMSU able to take this one 0 to the end, 7. We go into round 8, and Frozen, if you were in the mind of Adrian College right now, if you were witnessing this the 7 0 deficit, what is something that you should do to maybe make that not happen? You know, maybe. I don't maybe buy a Spectre one round, see if save up for an op, see if maybe that'll help you have someone sit mid, cause SMSU about every time has someone go mid. Whether it's halfway Get through the round or right at the beginning. Like right here, oh. Jackson is going up mid. Healer, so squad. you can maybe you can get a, a cheeky pick. Oh, you know, and you saw that. She was completely messed no up in that play. She got pulled in and she just got decimated. Now they have B-Side to go for closing the door here. Chrome 
is still sitting in market, waiting for an opportunity, but definitely not going to try and push the door, perhaps. And they just have this block on both sides. There wasn't much you could do there. Probably going to go for the plant. Yeah, no, Chrome going out here with this trade-off. It's now a 2v2 situation now. Piece of bread going for the plant. And it looks like they will get it down. Killjoy and Jet are still very viable to, to make some moves here. And you also have Sky and Astra. I mean, you have the opportunities to flash, smoke, stun. So and maybe that 2v2 is exactly what Adrian College needed to turn the events of this. Go for it, but they're unable to hit your Astra on that door. Last player not standing. Connect the piece of bread and Anna Wilson just takes out new. Very interesting play there on Adrian College's side. They had utility through and through, but just weren't unable to use it. And that's gonna cost them big time. And I don't have we seen any alts besides Sky alt just now from Adrian College. Uh, we saw or? the uh, Astra alt a while back, and oh, you can yo? see uh, Adrian College has a majority, if not mm -hmm. almost everyone. Everyone alt besides Sky. Besides now, Sky, so Sky used it last round. This would be very advantageous on the side of Adrian College to possibly use an alarm box. They have a Placing swarm grenade. Lock them away. You know, like. You have the opportunity to use it, you just haven't been using you it. You should run. Ahead. I've got your trail. Oh, and look at just popping off of the push is coming up. The trade and the bullets are flying here. It's a 3v3 situation. As both sides take two members of their respective teams, the lockdown does go out to stop the plan. Out of time. He's unable to hit that lineup. It's gonna cost him big, and he's gonna go down. It's now two v two with that defender Killjoy out, and it is going to be a running away situation. <laughs> They're just gonna go for that rotation here as Astra begins to uh, make her moves around. The res by Sage now having Sky. It's now in a three v two. Oh, but Jackson, like a snake in the grass, is able to take. Out. One oh, enemy oh remaining. my goodness, no way. Wow. The collateral. Kill him. The collateral. Just tie him up in a neat little bow like a Christmas present and send him away. What a absolute dog <laughs> Jackson wow. was with that play. Smart move there by Jackson. Very smart move. I mean, they never would have expected one SMSU player with two left to stay back yeah. and try and get a pick or two off. And it, it, when we're looking at, at, at the econ here, it's still really strong on the side of SMSU. And we're looking back at the, the leaderboard here for Adrian College. They used a couple of those ults, and it did not work in their favor. And Jackson was just able to pick up that three-piece from the rotate on Adrian College. Big upset there on the side of SMSU, which almost seemed like a very unadvantageous spot. And uh, again, now we're seeing this delay push for something outright but Wookie does catch the kill Beast Mod checking it out you can see the ping there they're making sure that they're looking at that headshot making this 3v4 oh my goodness the Beast Mod's out here making some moves Jackson threw up his ult dividing off A yeah and it looks like last oh, player was standing he was unable to see spike it. planted it is going to be down to killjoy to make this situation a little bit easier i'm not sure if she's going to maybe save the rifle or if she's going to go for the push she doesn't have ult anymore so this is going to be a very tight spot oh and he's shooting door that's going to let them know exactly where he is Oh. Oh. And just cleans it up here. 10-0 in Ascent, which I believe is one of SMSU's strongest maps. A lot of the times when they play Ascent, it can it's a it's like a 75-25. There's a chance they could lose this map, but in essence, they 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 know this map's in and out. They know the lineups for it, and it's one of their strengths. This is just something that they do on a daily basis. So. This is looking like SMSU's Need a drop. game Thanks. one, unless, unless, and I, I, I'm the kind of guy who likes to, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to assume things, but there could be a chance. Adrian make, College could maybe make a, a 10 a <laughs> round ten, win streak. 10 round comeback. You know, I, I'm a believer. Yeah, you know, gotta stay optimistic. Mm-hmm.
Especially with that op coming into play down mid now. Jackson just shooting into possible angles that they could be at. He is going to alert the other team though that they are. At least one of them is in mid. Ooh, what? Pardon Whoa. me? Pardon me? The, oh, the scraping okay. headshot? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm putting the, I'm, I'm getting my hands off the keyboard and mouse. Uh, <laughs> At this point, I'm, I'm looking at that, and I'm like, uh, that that shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. That's insane movement wow. there by Pizza Bread, able to hit that big headshot. Oh the greatest of Scout destroyed. Beast Mod is aware of who is this. No right 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 oh, his back was turned. Oh, my goodness. Unable to really get out of there in time, and they're going to hit that ult from Soba. Oh, yeah, they're each other. Those eyes locked. <laughs> Yo, they, they locked yo. eyes. But their sky is a little faster with getting that shot off. One enemy remaining. Woken does get the kill on that sky, and it's looking dire for Duke as he does get the kill on Jackson. He did get dinked hard, though. He's sitting at 10 health. One shot will do it. He's unable to take that one off of Woken as she gets another kill to her KD. With last, this one. Round in the half. last round in the half. Zero to eleven. This is a game that you might want to take on the chin and come back next time. I mean, mm -hmm. what do you think, fro uh, Frozen? What do you think they're gonna try and do for next map? What, what can they do? Missing alarm bomb. You know, maybe I'm just gonna say it. You can, you can disagree, but maybe mm. this isn't their strongest map. Maybe they didn't have enough time during practice to figure out the ins and out of this map so that's why SMSU had the had the lead yeah. on this one and got this one so easy because they are so used to playing it uh, up the wall but it's not going to be enough as Wookie picks it up and they're just going to take it and leave no point even trying that one and uh Wookie now sitting in mid you have Chrome with the knives out he does dink Wookie the other thing, but through the wall, gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for that wall. I've got your trail. Seekers do come out here. You Woken should just, run. Uh, following the seeker. I mean, this is smart move, and the killjoy Found does come out. Get out of my way. And it looks like they are gonna just plan it here. Creepy two situations. No left. Woken definitely saw uh, Astra in mid, at least. I don't know about the killjoy. They are just gonna go. I think they're gonna go for it. Hey, you know, no guts, no glory. Might as well right. push in. Two v three. Last round in the half. Maybe we just gotta make something happen. The world divided, coming out by them. Maybe that's what they need. Throw them off a little, make it so that way they can't hear them. Come on. And yeah, no, but look at this crossfire setting up by S. One enemy window. remaining. He doesn't even have a chance, bro. Get off of my lawn, bro. Ain't no way you're coming through here. That's just how it goes. And it looks like Adrian College is going to just go out here and maybe save this one. And oh, Piece of Bread's able to take it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Able to get the kill on Kildare before. Switching and that's sides. End the Match half. point. But they still have a one round. They have one round to go. And yep. SMSU will take game one here in a possible 13 0 sweep in game one. That, that's quite the message to send to Adrian College. Uh, mm. And especially at such yeah. a high stakes game like this for second seed, this is going to help out you a lot. It's going to give them a surge of momentum in the postseason for when that tournament comes around. I feel like right now it's just SMSU saying to all the colleges that have beat them, saying, hey, you may have beat us, but we're back. Yeah. This is our comeback. They time. can't get an inch. You got us on a bad day. Mm -hmm. This is one of our good days. You know, this like, is the good day. Catch us on a good day. Looking pulling them in. And you can see here the turret here being the, the pressure being put here by Goodness. One, One with enemy two remaining. Looking for the shock dart. It's an absolute decimation wow. for this defender. They completely win. shut it down. Wow. With a flawless on the final round. Oh man, that. Oh man, <laughs> that's crazy. What a way to end game one mm -hmm. with an absolute flawless victory. Uh, one that they're gonna take with a uh, big.
big victory. They're going to take a little break here. And uh, Frozen, if you want to just give us a little bit of a post-game analysis before we head on to break here. You know, I mean, at this point, if I were Adrian College, I'd call the team together. I'd bring them off mics, and I would look at them and say, hey, I know this one wasn't our game. But we still have two more that we still have two more. So yep. Yep. it's a possibility you know, that wasn't our map. They're going to catch us on our good day now. So they better watch out. I yeah. mean, and so with that, I think, you know, Adrian College uh, just got to come back with a stronger attack mm -hmm. and we're going to be right back for game two. So don't miss it.
And ladies and gentlemen, we are back for game two of this uh, dominating series here by SMSU, hitting a 13-0 on ascent last game. We entered game two, swept side, so SMSU is going to start off on defense for this one. And Adrian College will be on the side of the attackers on bind, no less, as well. And uh, look at that last game, Frozen. What is the biggest takeaway from this one? I mean, this is an entirely different map. Could mm -hmm. be an entirely different game. Looking at uh, the lineup here for Adrian College, do you think this could fare pretty well? I mean, I'm going to say yes. You got you got your flashes. I mean, you Viper is going to be really nice. That Viper wall, especially if you're attacking, getting that smoke out, covering all of a site, making it so they can't see anything. Yeah. Now, honestly... I think you might have hit the money with that mm -hmm. one. I mean, Viper is really good, not just for attacking, but also defense. And one thing you can do, too, is uh, the biggest setback as a Viper is, you know, you put the wall down. It makes people think that you're going to go this way. But what mm -hmm. if you go the opposite way? What if right. you're going to smoke some mollies on the other side? Exactly. You, know? you can use that as a good sense to, you know, manipulate the map, manipulate the players, and make them think you're going one way when you're actually going the other way. I mean, there's so much you can do with Viper. That's why she's uh. That's why she's one of the top picks in the game. So I mean, mm -hmm. that's just how it be when you're at the top. And I mean, and then again on for Adrian having a Sova with being able to shoot through with the uh, oh I'm losing my words right now. <laughs> it's all good, man. The high <laughs> high energy, high energy. That last game was a doozy. I won't mm -hmm. lie. I mean, you have those recon bolts, the shock darts. You have you're all just oh, being able to laser yeah. through walls and everything. That'll be really nice with that viper smoke and the viper walls. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a battle of attrition for both sides here, mm -hmm. and it looks like we're going to be starting off on A with the attack coming in here as they are just pushing through. But you can see Jackson Smart pushing away, trying to get away from them as best as he can, and it's gonna. This is going to come down to uh, gunplay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most of the team is now on site. Killjoy still on B site, awaiting a possible rotation. But this is a push here. It looks like AC is going to take two out here, and it's going to be a uh, situation for SMSU. A very bad one. Uh, ah, unable perfect. to get the kill off. One enemy now remaining. Now 5v1. Killjoy oh. will not be able to secure it, and I believe that wow. was a team. Yeah, team A's. Team I mean, it's A's. right there on the, mm -hmm. on the screen. But, yeah, big plays there by Adrian College, able to just take them out. Uh, very good push. They were able to take most of U-Haul pretty easily. So they had that, and then they just had to sit and wait for everyone else to clear their spots so really well done there by adrian and i think this is a message from adrian to smsu saying hey you may have caught us off guard on ascent yep. but we know you now and you're gonna catch us on one of our amazing days yeah and i mean they're already doing better than last game mm -hmm. because last game was a 13-0 so now they've mm -hmm. got one up on smsu they're trying to make that two though and they're gonna go for about the same Four, except now the smoke coming in really getting shook he got juked out here as ac is gonna take it again and he just oh bro Spike bro you can't be doing eight. that you cannot be doing that mm -mm. he just did uh <laughs> a hopping right click oh wow. i'd be so mad i would be so mad i think i'd be going for a walk right now stepping away from my keyboard hey you ain't gonna be playing for a little bit might as well mm -hmm. take a little walk mm -hmm. and look get like my mind back in the right place for this next round Oh, the collateral again by Jackson with the Sheriff. Wow. Oh, my God, bro. The 4K, the crispiest Ooh. of 4Ks as he's going to get that one with ease with that Sheriff. He picked up the, the Sheriff off the classic and just balled out with that one. Like, that's one second, just oh, great play there by Jackson. Able to keep it up, and they will buy mm. some rifles on the side of defense, but not, not all of them, maybe, it looks like. And, uh, I mean, when you ball out like that, Jackson, you, you might as well splurge mm -hmm. a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, like great play, honestly. Like, oh. Now I think Adrian College is, uh, they got the answer right by there. SMSU. It's like, cool, mm -hmm. you got a round. Mm, now it's our turn, you know, like, let, let's mm -hmm. ball out too. We can do that. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Hunts, the, Hunts. yeah, this is going to definitely be a B site. Now I'm seeing if they can maybe make some luck. It looks like that sky did see Sova at the in the back on A. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, on B. Yeah, and it looks like uh, yeah, they're going through, sending this one through who goes through main. And uh, you can see the flanks already being done here by Adrian College. Going to try and flank them with the TP. 
Oh, down. yeah, there's, there are, yeah, piece of bread with 1k there. Woken in the piece of bread now with 3k off the Spectre. Will pick up the win here on this round, now going 2-1. And uh, definitely a big play by SMSU, able to kind of hold down the line as they were making that push. And I, I'm pretty you sure I said <laughs> during that push that SMSU was making the push, so... Uh, that's on me. My my fault. My fault. And uh, they're making some moves here, SMSU. You can see that the the lineups are still the same. They still have that same kind of lineup for each other on sites, here. and uh, they're probably gonna just wait it out here and let them push in. And the and the op coming out from Awoken. Oh dear. Oh dear. I would not want to be the person going in for that. And Awoken will take that kill with the op. That's gonna set the tone as Jackson gets a 2k headshot with the Vandal. And the Vandal at that. Yeah, nah. If I was aging Toss college right now, down. this is looking real dire. You have one sitting in bath, the other kind of sitting in the The shots through the smoke, though, is gonna alert them that they did probably take Spike. Mm -hmm. But they're not gonna go for the rotate. Could, could it be that Sova gets this kill and help him out greatly here? Viper does pick it up. Jackson goes down. One oh, enemy the remaining. Flank by the beast mod. Spike down. He knows he's there. He's gonna pick up that 2k no, there. No. Great plays by the beast mod mm -hmm. with some help from Sova, of course. Taking him out. And now it's 3 1. You know, SMSU, it's like what you said. Adrian got that first round. And SMSU was like, oh, that's nice. Watch what we can do now. Yeah, yeah. This was definitely like, mm -hmm. you got us on that last round because we were off that, you know, that high energy. Mm -hmm. But we, we back in focus mode. Mm -hmm. So now you have to take us on at full power. This isn't even our final form. And they're balling out. Mm -hmm. Awoken again with the op. Watching like a hawk. And again, they're going to go for that push. And look at how she changed where she was. Suddenly, they didn't expect her to be there. Smart adaptation by Awoken to be able to make use of the environment to advantage. From getting hit there, but it's going to escape. Oh, Jackson just we locked eyes, and it was over at that one. One enemy and remaining. Look at the death Spike down A. By SMSU. Able to enemy down. take him down. Almost a flawless there, but he will take that. Hot lead right in the right in the face, and that's a pause mm -hmm. on me. But of course, with Sova sitting far back, just waiting for the right opportunity mm -hmm. to make some moves here. Just Where's going attack up. Oh nope. Had that scouted from the very mm -hmm. beginning. The game was rigged from the start. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Adrian College will not be taking this round as it will now be a 4-1 game. After a strong start by Adrian College, SMSU has been able to turn it around, and now they're up three rounds here. Mm -hmm. Looks like Adrian College is saying, okay, they got a site covered. Mm -hmm. That Sentry. op's going to be sitting A again. Let's see if maybe if we go B, if we can throw grenade. them off. Maybe get rid of that op or take it for our own. Yeah, and it looks... Yeah, they're going for the B split here, just just kind of buying their time. I mean, they put out some util. AC will answer with their own util. They're going to be wasting that stuff, and you can actually see the beast mod is uh, currently going for this flank, and Sky has no idea. If he can catch this Sky off, it's going to be such no a deep way play. To run. Looks like the ult is going to be coming out here from AC Sova. He will catch the piece of bread, but Awoken does get that op shot. Oh, and look at this. Again, the beast mod. Sova did spot him with the flank, One but it wasn't less. enough. Didn't even matter. He is going to be going for this flank. Again. Is he going to get the second kill? Yes, he will. Spike Spike's down, now down with Puka. They're going to have to figure out what to do here as he sends out the hounds. Send in the hounds. Oh, what a clutch with the 3k. Can he get a fourth? Can he get a fourth? Sends the bird. He's going in. Who's going to take it? Oh, but Jackson was going to take his 4k from him. And they will take this one. It's going to be 5-1 now. And Frozen, again, 
AC not looking too hot here. They had such a strong start. What do you think happened? On, I, honest, I'm gonna be honest. I I don't know. I mean, maybe that win got to their head and they were like, okay, SMSU's not playing good. We can just maybe play not so aggressive. This isn't their map, but maybe perhaps that's what they wanted them to think from the very beginning. A false mm -hmm. sense of hope. Give them that false sense so that way as they do start. Oh, and that perfect recon catches them off guard. They at least have a couple pings here, and they know that they're going toward A. You can see the rotating starting here on SMSU. As it looks like, yeah, they are heading up through A main with a Viper in bath. Wookie. Jackson gets a 2k, could be a 3k. He does miss his shot though, but he's gonna get the 2k. But he's in a 3v3 situation. As a piece of bread, stocks. Inside the seeker. Bad timing. That was just the worst you could possibly have there. The trade off. And it's down One enemy sky, remaining. But it's the beast mod. Spike but it's the beast mod though. Did he get a dink off that? I think he did get the dink. Oh, he's sending in the house. Send him out. Sick him. Scout destroyed. And he's going to turn that corner for sure. He's going to send out the bird. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about, oh, this could be prime. And the viper is stopping, 30 seconds waiting, left. holding. He's going for the push now, though. Mm -hmm. Trying to not, not do a push spike. too hard, but he will get the spike. He's probably going to go for the plant. I'd, but you won't want to turn your back. You turn your back, it's a done though. Bird goes out, and it will be the Beast Mod taking it for SMSU. Very high mm. pressure gameplay right there. My my heart was pumping. Did not know what was going to happen. It could have been anyone's around there, but I think that flash yeah. really shook the Viper to the core and was yep. going to be unable to take that one. Now 6 1, frozen. It, could, this possibly, uh, could this possibly be curtains? You know, I'm gonna say it. I I don't know. I have faith. I have faith. Maybe you got, you got some faith in them. I got some faith in them. I all got right, faith. All right. Hey, I gotta respect the optimism. But I just saw that I'm pretty sure most of SMSU has their ult as well. So this is gonna be. Big. Oh my goodness! On her big game hunter right now, hitting big moves with that op and back end. Dog does come out from hookah. They're concussed. The beast mod waiting in bath. He's one of the deadliest threats on SMSU's team right now. Able to clutch some high, high pressure Toxins situations. You definitely want to take him out first if you want any chances of uh, getting through in this game. Pulling them in. Going for the alt orb on the side of Adrian College. They will be making the move toward B. It looks like SMSU kind of has it scouted, but they do still have Sky and Astro over there just in case. And again, that rotation is starting once again. They're in a tight spot. I mean, they don't really know what mm -hmm. to do right now. It's uh, it's either we go one way and get killed or we go the other way and get killed. You know, if I were Adrian left. right then... I'd maybe throw in Skyer since she's all off on her own. Yeah. Throw her in, get her on to site, so that way SMSU starts going for a, a rotate. Maybe shoot, maybe see if you can get some shots off in Hoka. Yeah, the world divided goes out. They don't Ten have the time. Left. They have to commit to this push. And three people are right there. But to gets the Spike 2K before being put down. They won't have time to One plan. The knife with the Sova comboing their ults together will put this one away. 7-1 with the Sova hiding behind the after wall, saving the rifle for next round. And that almost uh, fell apart. It, I mean, it did on the side mm -hmm. of Adrian College. They didn't... I, I guess it might have just been a miscommunication on timing. They were yeah. just unable to see what was going on. And by the time they actually went for the plant, everyone was already there. Yeah. And, of course, now, on the side of Adrian College, I mean, what's the best strat to do here going through A or B? Or do we go for split? Like, what, mm -hmm. what, what do you think is the best strat right now? 
I mean, if I were Adrian, make a lot of noise one site. Maybe send in someone. See if you can get that a pick or a trade off. And then sprint as fast as I can to the other site. Yeah, just, just try and make some noise and then dip. Mm -hmm. It looks like they are going to get this one. And they do take out two members. They don't go for the plan. Of course, the defender is Killjoys. That does space them out a little bit. The question is, though, are they going to stick to A? Or are they going to go for the rotation to B? Placing sentry. Oh, the oh. blunter. He's taking shots at the wall. Jackson just saw the whole thing and said, I guess I can take the shot now. And he just went for it. Now a 3v3 situation, but Viper was already moving with Sky to the other site. SMSU now all the way on A site. They mm -hmm. figured, I think they're starting to figure out possibly that they are on that other site. But this is going to give the prime ample opportunity to set up that, that post plant. 30 seconds left. And get those Five planted. Viper is out that Viper's pit. Here we go. Let's see what they have in store for SMSU now. There's actually just shooting in there. It is hitting Sky a little bit. He does save the Viper from certain doom. The op is a little bit going for no scopes. This ain't caught. What are you doing? Going for some some no scopes out here with the op. Mm -hmm. Could have been could have been poggers if she got it, but hey, you never know. You might as well try a one. Mm -hmm. And now Adrian with an op. Is this what they need? Getting that free op from SMSU. Is this gonna turn their game around? This this could possibly be. I mean, now they're up. It's now a five round game. Mm -hmm. Still a couple more rounds left in the half three mm -hmm. to be exact. But there is a chance you can maybe close the gap slightly before half. And who knows? Perhaps Adrian College is a better defense yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. than an attack. And it looks like they're going to be Seeker. coordinating with the Seekers, going for Get the push. They notice way. that no one is in the push, they have that covered. Now deep in a hoop bed. SMSU now setting up the shot, but gets it with the... Oh my goodness, my boys are out here shooting them up. Doing what they got to do in TP. And Adrian College still having a chance here, but Awoken with that op is deadly. It's going to be a one on two situation for Awoken. She does have op, she has full health. Spike has planted. the cloud burst, has the updraft. They know where she is. They just have to play smart here. <laughs> He's shooting through the smoke, making sure he got, and, he, and she does get hit slightly. And they will take this one. It's gonna wow. be Adrian College coming up with a win there. I'd say that was a pretty smart play. You don't pinch her an elbow, you let her come to you. Yup. One just watches one entryway, the other watches the other entryway. Not much that Awoken could have done there. Good BYD play there on Adrian's side. They're coming them up here. 7-3, round yep. 11. This is still pretty close at the moment, but who knows. And Adrian now getting two free ops from SMSU. But it looks like SMSU's like, okay, enough's enough. Let's save off on the ops for a little bit. Yeah, I think we popped off a little too hard with the op. Maybe we gotta yep. back off a little bit. Yup. Make it so if they want that op, they have to keep it. Yeah, and this could be very good for SMSU if they are able to kill the jet with uh, who has op currently. Mm -hmm. So they could have access to an op on top of multiple ops because of the e. Oh. Logan does get the kill through the boxes on that Sova. They're, they're gonna commit to A here. They're gonna probably stick to it. But I can see the Viper in their spawn going for that rotation, making sure they get that head start, making some noise. Piece of Bread did see that op being there on Jet. So he's definitely gonna back off. Gets the arrow, but it does not go into Hookah. So they can't see where she is. That smoke's gonna cover that. Yeah. Yo, very perfectly timed smoke by SMSU. Thirty seconds left. Oh, 
Oh my goodness! One enemy remaining. Ooh, piece of bread catching them Spike up in mid-air. Almost taking out two of them. And Awoken just comes from behind with a 3k. No charges left. Not even behind. She was in front the whole time. My eyes were just all over Last the place. Round Big before 3k the there. By Awoken and the 2k by here. Piece of Bread is going to help them out tremendously. Now 8-3, last round and a half. This round could go either way. I think what Beacon College could possibly do is maybe just, I don't mean, it might be a little risky, but a W key strat mm -hmm. might be their best chance. It's what got them the first round, mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes if you just win Checking gunfights, a W key strat could be viable. Mm -hmm. And SMSU realizing, okay, it's last round. Even if they do get the op this one, it's not transferring over to the next one. So we'll whip it back out for one last round. AC going for the shot. Right away with that, and you can see that the, the swarm grenades are being popped off. Mm -hmm. Does knock her a little bit. And that was some really nice swarm placement by the piece of bread. Yeah, he did a really good job setting mm -hmm. up Hookah. That's one of the Sentinels, any Sentinels. Oh, the best place the And then the ult out by Adrian College was almost about to tag the piece of bread there a couple of times, but Awoken gets that op shot on the Viper, getting her out of this equation. Oh. World Divided goes up. Although it did look like when Sova for Adrian College did snake Jet a little bit for SMSU. This one's gonna be dangerous. I'm not sure Enemy if the Silver saw the jet, but a uh, jet kill jet, that works out. Next guy's gonna get that kill on the beast mod. It's now a 3v4 situation now. They have spike. Could this possibly be the opportunity to possibly get out and leave while there's still chance? Killjoy is close to death here. Bomb grenade out. Oh, oh, and the shot dart Spike takes down. them out. They have 10 seconds, ten left, seconds here, left And they're just going to clean just up shop before the round is over. It's going to be 9 3 for SMSU as Switching they sides. begin their attack round. And uh, looking at this right now, just in terms of sheer power, a, a great showing by SMSU today. And Adrian College has just had no answer. For SMSU today, and I, 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 it could be map. It could just be gunfights because they get they get kills. You know, we mm -hmm. saw it first round of this map. They were doing really well, and then mm -hmm. something just snapped in SMSU, and they balled out. Yup. Although maybe it's like I said at the start, maybe Adrian need needed this defensive switch. Find the weak point. So and that way they can show SMSU, hey, you may be good on defense. But watch what we can do. We'll send out the dog. It does catch the beast mod. We'll see that there is a viper in U-Haul. They go for that push button. A loop with that dome. With the domer. And the molly as well. Kind of keep them away with that space, that pressure. He will get the shot off on the beast mod. Oh, it is well. Could he possibly get a third here? Jackson does take out Chrome, Spike but it's down a Wookie a. now going down. Piece of bread and Jackson, the last few remaining here. He does I get the shot. You, Viper. Going for three. I got the spike. Piece of bread does take a bomb, and he's going to probably think about going through the bathroom I'm here. I'm pulling them in. Leaving. Last player and he standing. will be taken out. Jackson, the last hope here, and at this point... Piece of Bread's already making his run toward B site. They're setting Time up utility out. here in A. And, and he's already bolting almost to B main. And it looks like they finally realized that, okay, 30 here comes seconds the switch. Left. But I don't think they saw it. Well, they might have seen it fast enough. They were going to send out the sky at least so they can do something. But that footsteps by Killjoy, by Piece of Bread, Spike will planted. alert them of his presence. He's going to try and get out of there. He has turrets set up, so they, if they do come through CT, he can at least get them and maybe even hit up a trade off the turret. Blinded. Birds out. Turrets destroyed. And yeah, they are going for it. He, they do set up their own turret. Looks like they're going to go for swamp grenade. defuse. Spreads right there. Killjoy is so close to death on both 
side of this and he's gonna throw the swarm grenade but will be unable to pick up that kill it's gonna be adrian college's game right here with that round ending clutch as they will go into the next round 9-4 and smsu's looking pretty shaken i wouldn't say shaken but they've they've given up you know a round and they got a round so this is you know second round here in this half making do with what they have and again this has been a really good showing by ac to start off mm -hmm. like before let's see if they can keep it going It looks like SMSU saying, okay, they showed us what they can do. Let's do a full B push and say, hey, not today, guys. We out here. You know, let's run the ones, catch my face, and let's just let's just see what happens. That sofa drone seeing both in B long. But the flash out into PP, but they scouted it, but he, not before. He gets that trade. And now a 4v4 situation. And he does get that dink off of that Sova. That Sova hurt badly now. But Chrome will take out Jackson. Oh, and they can clear the one step in the double kill. Possibly a third. But he was missing his shot. And it's down to Awoken. A marshal in a dream. Spike planted. But could she pick up a new rifle or is she just gonna dip? Oh, she's like, mm mm, the specter's mine now. Oh, but she's only at. Oh, and she did an accidental. I don't know if that was that. In you know, if that was actually intentional or not. But she shoot it out, and they aren't going for it here. Oh no, Wookie, Wookie. <laughs> I should say Woken. Uh, takes gets taken out by AC, and it's gonna be the round. Here. Nine to five, and it's looking closer. They're starting to mm -hmm. make moves here. This is the second round in the row that they've won uh, for defense, and they're looking pretty good right now. So mm -hmm. they gotta whatever they're doing, it, it's working. They gotta keep doing, mm -hmm. you know, like the, it's it's working out for them. And you can see here uh, Viper looking really close to old, which would be really good mm -hmm. on defense. I mean. You basically put them in your element. If Yo. you put it on the site as they're pushing, I mean, what are they? They got, they got to push or they got to leave it alone, and then you just wait. It's such a good ult for defense. Time to hunt. Silver Dart being shot over on the A side. Sure, it does go out. And already, Sova's already hit badly. Standing ahead. Do as Pizza Bread does take out Killjoy. Jackson taking out Nuke. And now it's a 5v3. They have all of sight taken. And it's going to be a fight. As Jackson takes out Chrome. One Zora's enemy still remaining. On the edge of death. And that's going to be a flawless. We crushed them. On SMSU. Very good job there on that attack. They did what they had to do. And now with only three more possible not two more actually if they win these last two rounds i'm mm -hmm. thinking it's 13. should i play 12. some stars in this and reality they're gonna have to you know for ac they're gonna have to think about what a plan should be because they were doing really well in defense but for some reason CSU has always just been able to slip out of their grasp and either just ball out with some kills or just completely like manipulate them to go one way and the other I'm way and so this is just something that Adrian College needs to get used to. The Sky, Bird, and Dog go out, so they know that at least both Skies are here. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what SMSU is doing, because they had left Bomb right at the front of A main. A long, I mean. Maybe they don't need it. <laughs> maybe that's why they're uh, mm -hmm. maybe that's why they're holding out. They're like, uh, if we can just get picked, do we really need the plant? I mean, Econ would be nice. Mm-hmm. Dog does come out. Viper throws that molly out. They do catch him lacking in U-Haul. So now they just gotta clean it up. Duke swing. He catches that swing on a Woken. Catching Woken off guard. 
now Cole waiting that flash out. Does he actually get the flash Oops. though? And One enemy Cole remaining. picks it up and new picks Spike up. He's down a. As it's now a five, a four, no three, a three v one situation, and with a thrifty no less, they will take this one ten six. You know, I have to say, by I'm sorry for cutting you off. There. No, no, all good, all good, man. You know, I have to say, by SMSU, Wookie, that was a very nice trade that he did, bringing it from a five to a three. Yeah. I mean, not enough to win the round, but at least enough to get rid of two rifles. Yeah. For Adrian, making it so they have to spend a little bit of their money, throwing off their buy, as you can see. Yeah, they are absolutely looking a little wonky, <laughs> to say the least. And uh, looks like they're going to go for that B main, mostly with uh, Sky and Hookah watching that. If Astra's still on main, and possibly make some noise. And as they begin to make this push, they watch on as Killjoy, again, spotting the dog. They are spotted. They know that Killjoy is at least there. And they're taking this a little easy. You can see Killjoy and Astro both on A, probably watching the rotate. You are they divided! Are going to hit the world divided. That piece of bread will take out Nuke. Great move there by Astro, mm -hmm. hitting that world divided, making him push out of uh, U-Haul. And piece of bread just catching him off guard as they go for the A main push. All members of Adrian College completely sidewinded. No idea they were going to be there. And uh, that was just perfect placement on that world divided from Jackson. Able to kind of make them think, are they still pushing B or are they going A with that placement? But Loki takes out Chrome, who was just completely turned around. They had no idea where go. Beast Bread will be taken out, but Awoken trades on the first rod with that flank. Oh, had no idea. And he somehow caught him by the toe with that wall bang headshot. Wow. Insane plays there mm -hmm. by the Beast Mod, able to hold off this one. And now, looking at this 11-6 here with a, uh, and I, you know, I think I might have been capping a little bit ago. <laughs> I literally said, I thought it was 13, it was 12. It's still 13. Well, what do you know? <laughs> well, what are the odds? You know, I was going to say, I wasn't going to correct you on it. Because hey. I was like, May maybe they changed it halfway up rounds. But yeah, yeah. It it's not likely, but yeah. you just never know. It's just one of those days, you know. And it looks like, yep, yeah, AC will go for the op. They do know he has op now. He did go for that shot. They will be spotted by the drone. I believe, uh... Yeah, this is, uh, they're locking it down here. It's going to be a full-on team fight here on site. Awoken does get the first pick off, so it will be advantage as soon as you Oh, One my enemy goodness. Spike In quick succession, they just did a synchronized headshot. I didn't know I was playing Ghost Recon, but mm -hmm. hey, you got to do what planted. you got to do here. Two off, but the op shot on from Jackson is going to take this one now with match point. Match point. And possibly the end of the game for sure if they get this one. Mm -hmm. This is uh, going to be coming down to the wire. And at this point, I should play it was a strong Astro showing in this by galaxy. AC. But they have such a mountain to climb. They have to get Yo. at least like eight rounds to like secure the victory because this is you know if you were in the event of a tie it does go into Here. overtime overtime Here. and it goes into win by two but this is such a big hill to climb on AC's side to maybe make something happen and the way is playing they're definitely gonna try at least to deny that not viper call alt coming out on a main but I've got your they didn't realize that when he had that crosshair placement just a little too high on Awoken, it would have been a good kill there for him to get it. But they do manage to get one for each person on the team. We spot a building as the attack was completely turned. They know at least two of them are in elbow CT. And that one area. enemy remains. He does pick it up. Bolt comes out by Wookie. Hookah push from Viper, but win. Killjoy is right there to pick it up. And that's going to be a 13-6 victory, 2-0 sweep. That will cement SMSU as the second seed in the mm -hmm. tournament in the postseason.
So what a big game here by SMSU. Mm -hmm. They balled out. They did what they had to do, and they put in the work. As you saw, Ascent, Bind was by far their best maps, and they just had it all in their hands mm -hmm. the whole time. Frozen, just for the people at home, what do you think the future of SMSU is now that they're in second seed? They mm -hmm. still have a couple more games left. Yo. But with the surge of momentum, I mean, I feel like anything is possible now. Like, this looks to be a very good uh, rest of the season for SMSU. You know, if I were SMSU, I would take, hey, we're second seed in consideration. Play off that second seat. Let mm -hmm. that fear factor sink in oh, to yeah. everyone else. <laughs> oh, yeah. The but, horsemen cometh. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But don't overdo it. Don't be like, we're second seat. We got this. Mm -hmm. You still have to go into the mindset that, hey, even though we're going up against the seventh seat or whoever, they still could overtake us. Yeah. Because they might have been gotten caught on their bad day. So we don't know how good they actually are. Yeah. And I mean, this was four second seeds. So, I mean, they had to have done at least decently. Mm -hmm. And looking at the next couple of games, it's going to be possibly an easy stroll but we don't know for mm -hmm. sure but i'm excited to see how it goes but for us here at smsu don't miss it we have a uh, hearthstone tournament coming up we got some rocket league on monday so it's going to be a pretty stacked next week this has been afro and frozen explosion and we will see you guys in the next one